guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Crew and I, Crew is asleep on me. This is the only way that I was going to be able to film this video, but I don't think you guys will mind that this cutie is tagging along with me today. So I am going to be showing you guys how I create a Christmas tablescape. So this year I actually did a Thanksgiving tablescape and you guys love that so much that I have decided to do a Christmas one with JCPenney again. So thank you JCPenney for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be showing you the things that I got from JCPenney and how I put them together to make a beautiful Christmas tablescape. And I'm also going to be showing you how to do a sharp charcuterie or charcuterie board. JC Pins has everything you need for the Christmas season to decorate a beautiful tablescape or to decorate your house. They have all of your holiday needs covered. I will probably use the charcuterie board this Christmas Eve. I feel like it's a great idea whether um, you have people over or if it's just for your kids. I know my kids would love to just pick at different things on the board so I think that that's what I'm gonna do for Christmas Eve this year. And if you guys have never made one before I will show you how I create mine. First of all, I'm going to show you the pieces that I got from JCPenney to put together my tablescape and then I will um, show you how I incorporate the charcuterie board and make the whole entire table look beautiful. I'm going to leave all of the links to the things that I am using in the description box below just in case you guys need to um, order some things for hosting Christmas this year or you like some of the things that you see on my tablescape and you want to recreate it. They have so many different options items online and in stores so make sure to check out JC Penny. All right, so here is everything that I got and I truly love all of these pieces that I got from JC Penny. Um, here is the gorgeous charcuterie board underneath here. Um, technically, it's just a serving board, but I feel like it is perfect for um, charcuterie. So that's what I'm going to show you guys here in just a little bit. But um, I truly feel like everything here is just beautiful and timeless and things that I'm going to use over and over every year. If you guys saw my Thanksgiving video, these are the same dishes that I used in that video. Um, and I told you guys that having white dishes like this is a must because you can use them for every single season. So um, I use these for Thanksgiving and I'm just interchanging out the napkins um, to a more Christmas feel. I also have these adorable little reindeer um, napkin rings. So I'll show you two different ways that you can place your napkins when you're doing a tablescape. Um, well, there's more than two, but I'm going to show you two ways that I typically do it. Um, all of these come as a set, so there's four dinner plates, four salad plates, there's four mugs, I just pulled out two of them right now, and then there are four bowls, and they are gorgeous. They are going to last you year after year because they're never going to go out of style, and they can be interchanged with anything. So any season, these are going to work. I could not pass these up. These are so precious. You guys know that I have a thing for Santa mugs. This is actually the biggest Santa mug that I have seen and I love it. I love it so much and this is from JCPenney as well as this adorable little reindeer. And these placemats are so pretty. So this is definitely the color that I went with or the color scheme that I went with this year but this is a color scheme that never goes out of style. This is the um, true, it's like a Christmas plaid if, if you know that's what I want to call it but these placemats will never go out of style. Um, they have this gorgeous snowflake embroidery over here in the corner and honestly if you didn't want to do um, the touch of silver you could just flip these right over and um, they would be just like that so these red napkins um, are so pretty I think there's like six of them one two three four five yeah um, all those came together and um, they're so pretty so um, there are my napkins and my cute little reindeer napkin rings the beautiful charcuterie board uh, that I'll show you guys in a minute and then this beautiful greenery I cannot tell you guys how impressed with this I am this can be used year after year after year and it is the perfect size for a table I have honestly never seen anything like this um, it is full it looks real um, and it is the perfect size for a table um, it's not gonna drape off the ends of it this is everything that I have for my tablescape I'm gonna put it together show you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna work on um, making some food here.
charcuterie board. How many times can I say charcuterie in this video? I love this thing. This is a solid piece of wood. I was highly impressed. I went and picked this one up at the store. I ordered it online and then I went and picked it up at the store and I was so impressed by the quality of this. I had no idea how nice this was gonna be. Um, so I wanted to show you guys because this thing is gorgeous. Um, now, I, I am not a professional at charcuterie boards. I know some people get super duper into them and make them like amazing. I like to make mine very practical. So this is what my kids are probably gonna be eating on when they get home from school. Now, if you are hosting for a bunch of adults, you might change things up just a little bit. Um, of course, this is still gonna be adult friendly. However, I'm not going to do like 10 different flavors of cheese or anything like that just because my kids are going to be eating on this and they probably will not eat all of those different kinds of cheese. I finished the tablescape. Um, I just put the placemats down and then I have the dinner plate and then the salad plate and then um, the napkin as well as the napkin ring. Then I just have these coffee mugs here. Um, you could use whatever cup you want. You could also place a coffee mug over here and like a goblet on this side or whatever type of drinking glass you want. And then there's two ways that you could do this napkin. And sometimes if I don't have a napkin ring that I like, I will just fold this up place it underneath this one right here and I'll show you guys what that looks like real quick. So if you wanted to, you could fold the napkin over this way, then you could set something in the middle right here. You could do like a Christmas ornament. You could set that on there. You could do a very small like dessert plate that's maybe red or green to bring out the colors from this. And then just having this going down the center makes it really pretty. It brings a pop of color to the table. It brings out the green in here. And you could also add some candlesticks within here or some um, like bottle brush trees. I'll show you guys what a, um, some bottle brush trees might look like real quick. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of inspiration on how you can create a holiday tablescape this year. 
head on over to Instagram. I'm going to be doing a $100 JCPenney gift card giveaway. And thank you to JCPenney for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys all in my next video.